Hey, thanks for watching this video. There's more at Embark Online. You can tweet me, and there is the pie guy. All right, this is second grade module eight, lesson 16. And in this lesson, students are gonna be talking about solving elapsed time problems involving uh, whole hours and half hours. Now, I'm gonna do a little bit something different this time. We're not only gonna be talking about a clock, but we're also gonna be referring to time on a line, simply because that's what students do also in third grade. So since they're gonna be seeing it in third grade, I thought we would do a little bit of a preview in second grade. So let's get started. So what do I mean by elapsed time on a number line? All right, so uh, for example, this one says 2 p.m. to 8 p.m. So one way we could look at it is we can think about that uh, hour hand pointing at the two and then we could say, well, and then it's going to go to 8. So it starts at the 2 and it moves over 1 hour, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 hours. So it 6 hours have passed. 6 hours have passed. Now another way we could think of that is we could think of it on a number line. And that number line is going to start somewhere and I'm going to zoom in, let's see, I'm going to say, well, let's start, noon is right in the middle, and, uh, oops, there we go, and I'm going to zoom in and say, if that's noon, then we've got 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, all right, so there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and this is all on the AM side, and then we can move over, and we could say, all right, well, let's see, that's going to be 6, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, uh, and so we could s look at this side, and this side is the PM side, all right, so, oops, there we go. And so if we wanted to, and we wanted to look at from moving from 2 p.m. to 8 p.m., so you could start at 2 and go 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, so we could start at 2 and go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So it's 6 hours to go from 2 to 8. So using that same idea, how about from 7.30 a.m., to 12 noon. So let's zoom in and the idea would be, okay, well, so we're going to start at 7.30 a.m. and go to noon. And so what are we going to do? Well, we're going to count. And how many full hours? Well, there's one, two, three, four full hours and then a half hour right here. So we could say a half hour plus an hour plus an hour plus an hour plus an hour. So to go from 7.30 all the way to noon, it's four and a half hours, all right? And so that's the idea of what we're talking about here. Uh, so that's four and a half hours. So parents and teachers, you have a choice. You can either use that analog clock or, like this, or you can use a number line. And you can see what I did. I just kind of listed and started with noon, and then I went 12 hours that way, 12 hours that way, and that's how I made my clock. So this is the exact same thing, only first we have to read the clocks and then decide the elapsed time. So the idea would be, let's zoom in here this first set of clocks, and we can say, well, that this one's 4.30, so let's get a little thicker pen. So that's 4.30, and then this one is 9.30, and so our elapsed time is five hours. That one's pretty straightforward because we go from 4.30, 5.30, 6.30, 7.30, 8.30, 30, so that's five hours, but again, you might want to consider drawing a number line. 
and there's your number line, and noon is right in the middle. And then, going on the left, you need 12 notches. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So there are our AM side, and that's, let's see, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right. And then on our PM side, so let's see, we need a 6, so that's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and that's on the PM side. So we have the AM and the PM side. So if we want to travel from 4.30 p.m. to 9.30 p.m., that means they're going to go from 4.30, which is right in the middle, to 9.30, which is right in the middle. So what are we traveling? We are traveling one full hour, two full hours, three full hours, four full hours, five full hours. Another way we could have done it, it said, well, here's one hour, here's one hour, here's one hour, here's one hour, but then this half right here plus this half right here equals another full hour. So there's a couple of ways to show that we uh, are talking five hours. Now, parents and teachers, let your students choose whether they want to use the analog clock or this number line idea. They get, a cho uh, they get to choose. So here it says Kylie started basketball practice at 2.30 and finished at 6. And we're talking p.m. in both cases. How long did the practice last? So if we're going to start at, let's say here's 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So where is 2.30? Well, 2.30 is going to be right in the middle of 2 and 3. Here's 6 o'clock. How far did we go from 2.30 all the way to 6? Well, we can see we've got a full hour, a full hour, a full hour, and a half an hour. So we've got three and a half hours. And then down here, Jamal spent four and a half hours at his pack, uh, family picnic. It started at 1.30. What time did Jamal leave? So we're going to start at 1.30. So that means it's going to be right between 1 and 2. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, so 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, so I'm just kind of making a number line, and we know that he started here at 1.30, and he spent four and a half hours, so if we spend four and a half, let's take care of the half, to go from 1.30 to 2, there's our half hour, and then we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, so that puts us at 6 o'clock. 6 p.m. is our four and a half hours later. So here you go again. We More of the same. It's really just the idea of letting our students read these problems and solve it any way they want using either a number line or they could use that analog clock. It really doesn't matter how they do it. We do, however, want the students to be getting the right answer. So I'm going to skip these two problems because I think you get the idea. Use a number line or the analog clock. My kind of preference is the analog clock. I mean, uh, the number line. I kind of dig the number line. And that wraps up second grade module eight, lesson 16, solving elapsed time problems.